Okay, so I've actually been seeing this project a lot, and I kind of just ignored it, because I thought, huh, I mean, this is a copycat of Libero, but it's like, huh. But yeah, they literally just stole everything from Libero, and then just called it Libera, and then they're their own little project, I think, which is pretty funny. So I thought I was going to be done for the day, but I kind of wanted to just end on like a like a very solid Titano project uh, style project. So I think this is pretty much it. I mean, we I don't even think I'll be able to cover any more Titano forks for at least a few days because most of the Titano forks I'm seeing they're all just dead projects, right? And the price is basically zero. So it's like you know it's just you know uh, crap coin after crap coin, you know. All right, so this is an exact copy and paste of Libero, right? This is also on Binance Smart Chain. I don't know if this actually looks important, so I'll just see on the upper right corner. All right, it says total burn, 30% of circulating supply. There's also a wrap index, so apparently you can actually uh, wrap this thing. And it's, oh, it's also funny too, it says wrap Libero. <laughs> they forgot to change this. Right, but it takes me to libera.financial forward slash wrap. Uh, okay, all right, another token. So it looks like their wrapping function already works. Okay, good. I'm hoping uh, the libero, because libero right now is, I think, still recovering, not doing so hot. I have, very, I have a little bit of it on Phantom, but I'm kind of hoping that they'll, uh, you know, recover at some point. So I assume if this copycat project has wrapping, then that means Libero itself should have wrapping, so. Alright, so there's a buy tax of only 5% and the sell tax is 16%, so that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, actually. So, I don't really, we don't really need to bother the front page because it's basically like whatever, standard stuff. Um, they do have, let's see, it looks like they don't have a thing about uh, I guess they don't invest their treasury. All right, let's see. BUS day uh, income. Uh, let me see. Multi-chain farming. Well, I don't see it. Uh, okay. Oh well, yeah. There's not. There, it's not listed here. Yeah, it's not listed here yet. But there is a reason why that this project is doing pretty well. Hourly biggest buy rewards. Multiply multiple buys are not accumulated. Okay, so so this so this is a little different. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to look for. All right, so right off the bat, the buy and sell tax is very different. In fact, they specifically lowered the buy tax to just a simple five percent. You know, unlike Libro, where I believe it's like I haven't always set my slippage for Libro to be very high, so it makes it very difficult to buy it. Uh, there's a circulating supply of only a little under 4 million, so this is actually a pretty total nuke, 10%. Yeah, so they're really good with the burns. They have a pretty solid price. It's actually very stable. <clears throat> I'll, have to, I'll have to keep this open so when I copy and paste, I can get the APY correctly. I might actually, I may actually would want to buy this. And then, of course, they have the Libra Bank function. Uh, now you have to use buy swap for this. This is not on pancake swap. At least it's uh, that's what the links on this website uses. Uh, okay, I don't know why there's two of these, but it's obvious that this one X reward. So I assume you lock a little longer or something. Total liberal deposited pool limit. Oh, so there's a limit. That's oh, so that's the catch. So there's actually a limit to the, how much you can lock in to earn more money. So yeah, when you actually deposit this, uh, you stake it in the site, you also get Binance dollar rewards as well. And they, it's basically up to like 1.2, 1.34% a day. Libra BUSD Bank. Libra BUSD Bank is the world's first triple passive income token daily with rewards from both the DEXs and the central exchange's trading volume. Oh, so you get a percentage of the... You can't see because my stupid camera. And you can read more here. Okay, so you get a percentage of the... Uh, so, it's like, so something like... I don't know, I guess they use buy swap. So maybe you get a percentage of the buy swap reward. So that's actually pretty good. Of course, the condition, though, is you have to lock for a while. And you have to do it in this liquidity pair. So you, you do have to worry about impermanent loss. You know, that's why I generally never lock. 
right? I always just buy the token by itself and I just, you know, do whatever. Okay, the next burn is in 30 minutes. So good, they have uh, their uh, auto burn function. The next burn amount is a lot of effing money. Holy cow! So, so the reason why this project seems to do pretty well is they look like they look like they do. They have a very good burn mechanism. I mean, I just came into this project, so I don't know what the time cycle is. Uh, but 500,000 is actually kind of a lot of tokens comparatively to the circulating supply. Our really biggest buy rewards, multiple buys are not accumulated. So, so this I actually like. So basically, this is just like the Milko Media. I keep saying it wrong. The Milko Media Cardano Milk Sheba PVP battle. But the difference is actually there is no difference. It's one single buy. So you know if you're gonna do like you know 100 Libra here and 200 there, it's not gonna be 300. It's only gonna count the largest number which in that example is 200 so you gotta buy it all at once now according to this this is every hour so total reward at all time 21 grand so this is actually pretty good this always ensures buying pressure uh, where do they amount bought amount to be re amount to be rewarded zero Binance coin oh well, that's actually kind of funny. I mean, the whole point is, is to have some kind of reward. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I don't know. This could be an error. I don't know. The website looks like it's working pretty well, so I don't know why this is zero. Because there's a tax, there's a tax, there's a tax uh, system in place. Hmm. I don't know. This could be an error, actually. Uh, okay, and then you can see previous big buyers. Amount rewarded. Okay, so this actually, this zero actually does actually uh, count. So there is an actual thing here. For some reason, you just don't know what it is. Well, it's kind of pointless to do this if you're not going to have any rewards. All right, but they probably uh, they probably have some kind of thing in play. So you have a libero price. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure that this project is very separate from libero itself. But I don't know. Like, is it related to libero or not? Because it even says here it's tracking the libero price. But I think this could just be a oversight of the of the uh, copycat devs. I mean, it, the Twitter takes me to here. Smart money flows into Libra in bloody market. Insane triple pass. Okay, so these are actually, this is the actual same product. Okay, I was like wondering, what the hell? So, it's a triple pass. So, 3, 4, 8, did you May 19, trial. 8% of trade volume will be rewarded stakers. Okay, so this is actually pretty important. Actually, I better not like it because I don't want to get um, different things in my algorithm, Twitter here. But this is really good. So now 8% of trade route will be rewarded to stakers as well. So, All right, so this is actually Libero's. So this is actually run by Libero. I thought there was just a copycat, but it's actually really run. I'll, I'll make sure I write in the YouTube description right off the bat. This is actually a Libero uh, project. So, okay, so basically they figured out a way to like kind of create more utility. Libra hyper burn over 811 grand worth of Libra was burned. Yeah. Next burn. Yeah. So this has got to be like every few days or every week. Uh, at today. Yeah, that's today. So, okay. All right. Well, all right. Well, there, well, there you go. So, so this actually works pretty well. So the reason why this project should work is because you're actually getting a percentage of the uh, of the trade volume. All these. Uh, uh, exchanges, both centralized and decentralized. And now that we know that this is actually part of the actual Libero project, <coughs> uh, the, the whole ecosystem, I figure that eventually Libero should be able to pull up Libero. So in my case, I have Phantom Libero. So that's pretty good. And of course, in order to get those juicy rewards, you have to actually stake into this website. So works for me. Perfect. All right. So yeah, it looks pretty good. They also know how to do uh, really good burning. You know, as long as they can keep up the burns along with everything else that they're doing. 
yeah, I'd say this is pretty solid. Uh, pretty solid. I kind of wish I would have this token instead of uh, <laughs> Phantom Libero, but... I mean, I figure if this succeeds, all of the Libero tokens should, should succeed, because I assume that they're eventually they're just going to, like, do some kind of buyback and burn of, like, the original Libero tokens or something. Um, in fact, let me actually find out how much is... Oh, I'm not even keeping track of... Uh, uh, I guess I'll just have to go to F... F... Libero... Phantom Libero. I don't know why there's two versions of this in my Google Chrome. Jeez, uh, it's not even a fraction of a penny, is it? Oh, it's doing really badly. There's still, it still has a market cap of 1.5 min, uh, million. How is that possible? Jeez, uh, that's not looking too good. All right, well, I don't know when they'll do the buyback, but I'm kind of hoping it'll be soon. Actually, do I even have Phantom Libero? Okay, great. The Phantom uh, Network is lagging. Just give me a sec. I'm looking through my thing here. Yes, I have F Libero. Well, I can tell you what the number is. I got like a little less than like 18, 19,000. So, which is practically worthless. So that's like a couple hundred dollars down the drain. Yeah, great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, good news is at least uh, Libero is still trying to do something correct. Yeah. Well, you win some, you lose some. That's why I like minor projects instead of Titano Forks. Simply because the, you know, I mean, look how much experimentation Liberal had to go through in order to get this to happen, right? So, yeah. But with that being said, this looks pretty good, so. All right, so I'm definitely done for the day. I want to end on a good note, and yeah, I think Libera is, you know, a, a pretty good note. So, all right. And one thing I'll look at is, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like the price is still pretty stable. So, yeah, they, they, they definitely did something different with the with the burning. Like, I don't know how they're able to burn so many tokens, but they're able to burn a lot of tokens. So, let's see. 538000 in the liquidity pool. They have a market cap of $80 million. Huh. Oh, I guess we'll see. Anyway... You know, we, I know don't, yeah, I guess I'll link to the homepage, but really, you want to look at the app. This is actually where all the info really is. So, anyway, I'm definitely done for the day. Like, subscribe, share this video around with your friends and family. Thank you again, all the new and old people watching this uh, channel and video. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. I think because of the lack, complete lack of like Titano forks, you know, we might not have a Titano fork for a while, right? So. Which is okay with me because that basically means, you know, less work I got to do, right, for the rest of the week. But anyway, check out Libera with an A because I think Libero and F Libero are kind of in a lot of troubles. So, you know, maybe, you know, come and think of it, I really don't want to give up on Libero. So maybe I'll actually take a small portion of my Phantom Rewards right now. Uh, what's the gas fees right now? Oh, yeah, really cheap. Okay. So I actually will probably buy up a little bit more Libero, just as an experimentation. I mean, Libero, F Libero is, like, so cheap right now. So <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see. Actually, we should take a look. F Libero. Uh, okay. F Libero. X F Libero. Um, you know, come to think of it, what if F Libero is actually down a lot specifically because Phantom is down a lot? Because cryptocurrencies went down a lot. Hmm. You know, it never occurred to me that might be the case. F Libero, Phantom Libero retweeted this. Actually, we should take a look at this. Safe. Uh, remove I don't know what they're saying here, but okay, fine. Uh, it was a top 10 massive potential BNB DeFi projects. Hmm. Excuse
see his name. Smart movie full in the Libero in a bloody market. Yeah, I mean, they're basically just retweeting Libero. Alright, so, believe it or not, this is the price of Libero right now. Uh, 0 0.0007. The price of F. Ah, oh God, this is F Libero now. is 0 0.005. Now they have wrapping technology and we know that cryptocurrencies right now are going up. In fact, my deck screen is already showing green across the board by a reasonable amount. Yeah, you know what? I'll buy I'll, I'll, I'll buy a little more. So I'm actually going to invest in this through buying Phantom Libero. Right? Not a whole lot, you know. I don't want to say the number, but a very small bag. All right, because the thing is so cheap, but if F, if F Libra, if Libra does really well, which so far it seems to be doing, you know, I should actually, yeah, this could actually work out pretty well. All right. See, this is another reason why I like trying to, like, find really good projects, because this is how I make my money. Like, find a really good solid project, and then I put a little bit of money in there. And then, you know, I mean, I don't expect anybody to become the next sphere of finance, right? Because Sim truly is a unique person. But, you know, you don't have to be the best, right? Because right now I consider Sim to be the best. You can still get by with number two and number three and even number four, right? Just, just as long as they're doing something, right? They're building something, right? And even if you are really good, I mean, look what happened with Terra Luna, right? They had all that talent and, and, and that whole ecosystem, like, just co went kablooey, you know, kaboom. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow for sure. Uh, Titano Forks, again, will be a little dry probably for a week or two. Right? i got to let the XYZ website, you know, hopefully we'll find someone new. Uh, I don't know when Urnville is going to come out. I haven't covered them yet because I don't even think they're live yet. All right? Because they're featured and they're KYC. Are they even out yet? They have an app. Can I buy? Let's just take a look. I can buy. All right, let me connect. Let me just find out. Yeah, the I can connect my wallet. Let me just do that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I clicked the. I mean, can't see it because my camera's covering. Me. I hit the buy button. Earn price, full value. Black hole. I mean, it looks like this project's not even. It looks like this project's dead too. Like the buy button doesn't even work. Yeah. So the project. I don't know. I'll take a look at this project tomorrow, but it looks like it's a dead project. I mean, the price is already pretty bad. All right. Well, I'll check it out. But yeah. Wow. Look at Libera go. Look at Libera go. Um. Let me see. Uh, F Libera. Right, F Libero. I actually have to add this. It is actually what? It's not on my list. All right, let's actually compare these, and then we'll call it a day. So this is Phantom Libero. What did I set the time interval for? Four hours. All right. Uh, this was as low as really sub sub four cents. Now it's at sub sub five cents. Uh, this is up sixty percent. This is up is ten percent, twenty percent, thirty. So this is up thirty percent. So Libera is still actually outperforming F Libero. Yeah, I I think I'll still buy uh, Libero though. It is an issue. I mean, I think the problem is there's just too many coins being minted. That might be what it is. All right. Well, I'll take a small gamble on F Libero. I mean, worst comes to worst, I would just wind up buying Libero instead, like the actual most solid version of this project so far. You know, especially because it has this stuff. You know, here's the thing. Why can't 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 they implement this? I mean, I don't think they I don't think uh, they've renounced the I don't think they've uh, renounced a contract, so they can totally like change it, right? There's Black Pool, extra reward, full price. Uh, if 
farming wallet which has nothing, so they emptied their F liberal DAO, swarm on F liberal staking promotion account swap bro. Okay, so they don't actually have to buy stuff here. Oi, liberal treasury is like okay. I don't know, maybe I should actually just buy Libra. I would have very few tokens though. Uh, this is F Libra. So, how much Libra can I buy? For 300 bucks, you get 183. Yeah, people are actually buying this up like crazy. For 100 bucks, you can get 53.52. Great, this is all going in 21 minutes because I'm trying to decide do I want to buy Libra or do I want to buy F Libra? I mean, it makes sense to just simply buy Libra because it's like the most solid project. So, I can kind of be okay with the price being, you know, way higher than the cheap token. But the thing is, the cheap token is like really, really cheap. And I really do like this. I mean, there's no reward, so there's no point in buying. But, uh. That's the other thing, too. This is actually sustained by the uh, 8 or whatever percentage of the profits from the decks that they get. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, God, I'm just off the bridge. I'll figure it out. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, we'll pick up again. And, uh, yeah, I already went all, way over time. So, yeah, anyway, check out Libera, right? I have a lot of thinking to do because do I, I don't know which Libero I should go for, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out.